What's happening guys? Brennan here and I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be digging deep into your comments on my blog post. I want to answer some of your questions. Today I was actually thinking about just taking the day off and uh, give myself just one day's day of rest. Um, but I started looking at my post and I saw all the different comments you guys were leaving. Some people are asking some good questions. And instead of going through each and every single comment and trying to answer them out, type them all out, I'm going to just do this in a video. I thought it would be a cool idea to do this. So uh, we'll be doing that here in just a second. First, we need to choose the winner from yesterday's post. Yesterday, we talked about five budget-friendly ways to improve your visibility on Steemit. So as you know, in every single post I do, I choose a random person who commented and upvoted my post, and I send them 20 US dollars worth of Steamback dollars. So let's do that right now. I'm going to go over to the picker. And by the way, this has been fixed. I talked to the developer. I sent him a message, and he actually got this fixed right away. So I'm glad to see this is working again. So let's pick a random winner for yesterday's post. All right, great. Luke BRN, cool. We've gotten, I've gotten a lot of uh, feedback from him, and I really appreciate him uh, commenting on my articles. He's also, I'm following him now. He's got some, some great posts as well if you want to follow Luke BRN. But he said, you have some great points. Haven't been active on Steemit for only a few days. I've found that commenting, meaningful comments, is by far the best method to grow a following. Another great one is recruiting family and friends. I have roughly eight friends who should be setting up this week. I'm going to be re recruiting people through an online course and YouTube channel that I'm making, which I'm aiming to grow to 25 to 30,000 people. That'd be awesome, by the way. Uh, I want to help the community grow as much as possible. Agree that creating content people will, will want to share is also a great way to gain traction on Steemit. That being said, I find it difficult to curate posts tailored to what the people want just yet. I post mainly content that I find very interesting. I am, however, taking into account all of the comments on my post to improve my content. One thing that I would suggest for new users, too, is to look at what successful Steemians are doing. Do they use a lot of graphics? Do they have a set theme for their post? Are their images original? I've been studying many successful Steemians to see what they do. Thanks again for the awesome post, or thanks again for the great post. It is very helpful, and I will take it into account anything. I'll take into account anything that I, was, I wasn't already, especially point number one. So, not only uh, awesome comment and awesome feedback for what I was posting about, he also gave, gave a, a pointer right there as well, is to follow successful Steemians, follow the Jerry Banfields, follow the, the uh, Joey Paris, uh, Joe Paris, follow those type of people um, and you know kind of look at what they're doing. You know, If it's working for them, it'll work for you too, so that's a great suggestion there. So let's go ahead and send, send Luke BR in. A, uh, the $20 worth of SBD today, and right now it is at 2.46 uh, SBD equals 20 US dollars, thereabouts. And let's just see, make sure he did upvote the post. I'm sure he did. Let's just look real quick. Yep, he upvoted the post. You can see him right there. So let's go ahead and send that over to him real quick. All right, I'm going to send that over to, to Luke now. And guys, just so you know, every single post that I do, I choose a random winner, uh, whoever leaves a comment and an upvote, I choose a random person who will win 20 US dollars worth of SPD and I send that over to you um, the very next day. Something's going on here. I'm not sure why this didn't work. Okay, there it goes. I don't know what happened, but it did go through. All right, guys, well, let's get into the uh, meat and potatoes of today's post. I'm going to be digging into some of your comments and giving you guys some feedback, answering any questions you might have. Um, this is a kind of a cool thing to do. I might start doing this once a week uh, just to answer your questions in better detail because I think I can do it better on video than I can just write, writing it out. And I'm getting so many comments now and so many uh, uh, suggestions and everything. It's really hard to keep track of everything. So I'm going to try to do this on a weekly basis to get to the comments that I might miss uh, normally. All right, guys, let's dig into some of these comments here and I'm going to answer any questions that I see that I haven't answered. That's what I'm specifically looking for is comments that I haven't replied to yet. Uh, particularly, I want to see questions that you guys have because I feel like some of these questions I'm seeing are questions that probably a lot of people are having. So I'm going to try to answer them in today's video. So let's scroll down here and look for some that I haven't replied to yet. Uh, there's Luke BRN who won today. Let's go down a little bit further and find some uh, some questions here. Okay, this. Uh, this guy says, very nice. Personally, I think participating in contests and writing content people would love to share works faster. Seriously, on Steemit, followers are the key. The greater your number of followers, the wider reach your content's going to achieve, and it increases the possibility of getting higher resteems. Absolutely. I agree with that 100%. Uh, let's get to some other ones. I just stumbled upon your video. I'm a new user to Steemit and have 
uploaded a couple of videos following your tips. I will hopefully get more views and people interacting with me. So that's awesome to hear. Welcome to Steam It. Uh, let's see here. Hi, as a new as I am new in this great virtual world, Steam It. I would like to thank you for your advice and let's try to be useful to each other. Absolutely. Thank you, Tony. All right. I am new here on Steemit and want to learn how everything works. This helps a lot. Thanks. So I appreciate that feedback. So Bellis says, thank you so much for this information, Brennan. I have been here for a month now and still struggling to improve my post. I noticed some posts got higher upvote even if I just, even if just a picture and not much content on it. So, okay, let's have a look at Sol Bella's blog here, and let's see what may be going wrong or what may be going right. Okay, so first thing first, um, I want to mention this, and this is a very important point um, that I think some people are missing. You know, first appearances are everything, right? <laughs> so I'm not picking on, on her at all here, but I do think she could improve right away, uh, improve this channel a lot by just adding a cover photo that fits in here that's not pixelated and that you can tell what it is or just leave it blank, you know, if you don't have one. So Alma, I think, uh, you know, you, you could stand and put a different cover photo here and that would help you out a lot. In fact, I'm going to do you a favor one second here. All right, I'm going to take an extra step here, guys, and really help her out. I'm going to create her a cover photo, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to export to PNG, Soul Bella. This on the desktop here, and I'm going to send this over to her somehow. So let's go back to my my blog here, and we're going to reply with that picture. Now I don't want to just send her a picture and say, "Hey, here you need to fix your your blog, your header, or your cover photo." Let's look at some of her posts and see what's going on here. So she's posting regularly. I mean, this one was done nine hours ago. This one was done eleven hours ago. Something's wrong with this picture here this video, so I'm not sure what's going on there, so you might want to check that out. But uh, let's see, first ever Extreme Water Adventure, Daily Pet Photography number two, Daily Pet Photography, so that's cool, she's participating in a contest thing, so that's cool, that's, and that's one of my pointers I always say, you know, you ought to do. But she earned $12 from this post, let's just see if that was, if she paid for that, or, no, no, it doesn't look like she's, she's using the upvote bots or anything like that. So that's that's really killer, guys. And I, I think this is an issue that some people are giving themselves, some people aren't giving themselves enough credit. Um, you know, some of you guys are making, you know, even if you're making 23 cents on a post, you don't understand how huge that is. <laughs> like, for one, it's not just 23 cents, right? It's like a lot more because the, the value of Steam back dollars and the value of Steam is a lot higher than it used to be. So this is actually a lot higher than 23 cents. But even if it was just 23 cents, let me just try to explain this to you guys. I was, when I first started my original first ever blog, um, it was called ForksDefeat.com. I, I wrote about vegan food, vegan recipes, uh, lifestyle, the vegan lifestyle and running and basically it was around fitness and health. And I worked on that blog for about probably two years before I sold it um, because I just started doing something else and I didn't have time for it anymore. But in that two year period, I bet you I made a whopping $200, okay? <laughs> two years of hard work, mind you. That wasn't just, you know, a post here and there. I was posting about every single day, and I was doing SEO, search engine optimization. I was going out there reading other articles and commenting on those articles with links to mine so I could get backlinks. I was also running competitions. I also had my Twitter and Facebook going full steam. I was working my butt off to get noticed and made maybe a couple hundred bucks in the span of two years. Well, you, I, I imagine she said that she's only been on here for a month. So give yourself some credit, guys, and realize how huge this really is. $12 here on this one post, and it probably, you know, let's take a look at it. It may have taken some time to do these videos, so it looks like she took some time to do this, but $12, $12 which is actually a lot more than that, is huge, guys, right? You didn't have to go out there and promote this thing. You didn't have to do search engine optimization. You didn't have to go get backlinks. You didn't have to run a contest to win that. You didn't have to do any of that really, really hard stuff, which we used to have to do with traditional blogging. That's why Steema is so incredible, and I wish you know more of you guys would understand how awesome we have it here, like how much better this is. So, uh, so Sol Bella, give yourself some credit. It looks like you're doing a great job. You're you're posting on a regular basis. You've got some great photos in here. Um, 
exercises are beyond aiming for perfect vinyl statistic. Basic adjustments that have happened in my life since I found Steam it, so that's cool. You know, and she's also re-steaming some stuff. So I think it's cool. I think you're doing a good job. I think you just need to give yourself some more credit. Look, $12 here, $14 here, 40 cents. Oh, that's a re-steam. Uh, $21 here. So give yourself some credit. I think you're doing a great job. Let's look at your follower count. You've got 172 followers, uh, 555 posts. You're following 133 people. I would say just replace that cover photo and keep up the great work. Keep on doing what you're doing. You know, you've already got a 50 reputation, which is awesome. Let's check out your wallet. $200, so not bad at all. I mean, if you can, you know, if, if you can invest some more money in your Steam Power, that'll help you out a long ways. It'll help you out with your curation rewards. So, yeah, I think you're doing good. I don't think uh, you have anything to worry about. Just update that cover photo. I'm going to send that over to you now, uh, just one minute. So, I'm going to write to her and say, Hey, Sol Bella, you're mentioned in today's video where I gave you some feedback on your blog. Keep up the great work. And below you will find a cover photo that you can use for your channel. Okay, so let's see if I can get this, this to show up here. All right, cool. So, so Bella, there you go. I hope you enjoy that and uh, appreciate your, your question here, or your comments here. All right, let's take a look at some other people. Great info. I'm also new on the platform and trying to gain some visibility and posting original, meaningful content. It's not easy, but the challenging work is often the most rewarding. Looking forward to seeing more of your content. Awesome. I appreciate that. Go ahead and give them an upvote there. All right. Greetings. It's really nice. Your only way to help people in this social network. I hope you continue participating and reading your posts. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for the visibility tips. Growing steam is our collective duty. It's no longer an individual race. Your video is clearly composed. I'm very optimistic that following your blog will bring not just me, but also the steaming community greater fortune. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate that. That was very, very nice for you to say. All right. Thank you, Brendan Fry. Very informative. I admit, I have been afraid of contests, thinking most of it is a scam. I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that. I think the word scam gets thrown around a little too much this, these days. Um... I don't understand how a contest on Steam it would be a scam, but no worries. Um, no worries. I would definitely recommend participating in contests so uh, you can get more visibility, like I mentioned in yesterday's post. All right. Being a newbie here, this was the most helpful blog blog I've ever seen, or I've seen so far. Thank you. I was wondering whether you could add videos to Steam blogs, as I haven't seen it before or seen the option for it. You've just confirmed that it can be done. <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah. If you have a YouTube video, you can just take the embed code and put it into your post and it'll show up here. Now, a lot of people have asked me why I'm not using DTube, and that's a good question. And you'd think for somebody like myself who is such an ambassador for Steemit, you would think that I would be using DTube, right? Well, the, there's two reasons why I'm not. One is that there are some bugs still with DTube. Now, look, I, I love the idea of DTube. I think it's an awesome project. And it's also where I hope to, you know, I hope it'll be the home of all of my videos one day. I, I Literally, I'm serious about moving all of my videos over to DTube one day. But right now it's a little bit buggy. When I go over to DTube or I see DTube post on here and I click on them and the videos take a little while to load, sometimes they freeze up right in the middle and they have an error. I don't want that for my channel. So I'm waiting for them to get those bugs worked out before I really switch over to DTube and start using that on a regular basis. But trust me, I am all for DTube and I'm, I'm hoping that it will get fixed one day where I can use it on a regular basis. That's what I'm really aiming for. That's really what I'm hoping for. Um, another reason why I like to use YouTube is because, you know, Steemit's in its infancy, right? Steemit is brand new. A lot of people don't know about it. So by using YouTube, which is like the number two search engine in the world, right behind Google, this gets a lot of eyes on Steemit. It gets a lot of, uh, gives a lot of visibility for Steemit as a whole. So it helps us all out that I've got some videos there. And, uh, and there's not much competition on YouTube right now for the keyword Steemit. So, it's really a great place to get some visibility for your channel and also bring awareness to Steemit as a whole. So that's the reason why I'm not using DTube at the moment. But uh, yeah, as she said right here, yeah, you can put videos in here, uh, your YouTube videos, just take your embed code and post it in here, okay? So let's go to the next comments. Nice, I like the simple recommendations. Your format is also really good. This is very informative and I learned a lot. Thanks. Thank you, Crypto Knight. I appreciate that comment. 
All right, Bunny Money. What can I say that I haven't already? You got you always create such great content. Thank you as usual. Thank you, Bunny Money. I appreciate that. You're awesome as well. Nice video and good tip. I'm new here on Steemit. What I uh, have learned so far is just try to read and comment on people's posts. Yeah, that's a good idea. Definitely. Let's go down a little further. Let's see. I'm new on Steemit and I'm just learning to improve my visibility working on my first post. But now I have three exams on the weekend, so by far I'm just connecting with people by commenting their posts and not just by, it's cool, because <laughs> it's stupid and nobody wanted to respond to a comment, it's cool. And I have a goal to improve my English, Steam has helped me. Awesome, cool, cool. Yeah, and you've got that down. So you don't wanna just go out and post on, this is like, this is a perfect example. You gave me a really good comment. Um, you actually uh, you know, wrote something meaningful and it actually, uh, you know, is helpful. So, yeah, don't go out there and post, you know, it's cool, awesome post, or, you know, whatever. Make your comments count, right? It's possibly a backlink, like in the old days, it's possibly a backlink back to your channel. So if you write so, uh, some good comment on somebody's post, people might go check you out and see what else you've got going on. So you're absolutely right with that. All right, Big Tom 13, wow, top secret stuff revealed. John Olson sent me to you, and it was a very good tout. I'm here just over a week and can't tell you how glad I am to see the do's and don'ts or do this, don't do that post from somebody that's getting it done. Thank you. I mean it. Thank you. All that and you live in Phoenix. If you ever want to buy me a cup of coffee, I can write it from Yuma. Serious. That's awesome, big time. And I was just in Yuma not long ago. Actually, uh, where were we going? I can't remember. It's through San we were going to San Diego or something like that. We actually spent a night in Yuma. Yuma's pretty cool. Territorial prison and all that stuff. Yeah cool little town. So um, <laughs> thank you big time for the props. I appreciate that. All right, let's go to the next one. In less than one hour of going through your post and videos, after recommendation from John Golson. So I'm going to have to go check out this John Golson because it says, I must confess that I've picked so much and it feels like I've been here forever. <laughs> also, I'm going to have to go check him out and see what he's, see what he's talking about. I mean, see, this is cool because this guy has mentioned to me, I'm getting all these people telling me about him. So now I got to go check him out, right? So, confused about the disclaimer, Brandon, if you read this, you've got yourself a fanboy. <laughs> you pinned Warren. Oh, man, this is awesome. Hey, Brandon, you see it? You're very excited. So ask yourself. Then I came across Brandon Fry, this dude is heaven sent for explaining in crazy simple terms the ins and outs of Steven and how to get the most from your time in the community. What's scary, he joined around the same time I did, December 2017. I got to get to work, laugh out loud. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. My biggest aha moment was when watched this video he did back in December. This should be a must watch for anyone before they make their first post on Steam. This is exactly what you earn from every post you make and what reward you should choose and why. Thank you so much. That That's like, that's, that's awesome. Hold on, let me uh, upvote this real quick. So this is the kind of stuff that gets a 100% upvote, okay? Let me refresh this to make sure it did go through. Yep. So this is the kind of stuff that'll get my 100% upvote, okay? This is just awesome, guys. I mean, he's, he's, I mean, I, I know that I'm helping you guys, but you guys are helping me out a lot too. And this is just like, I'm really just speechless at this. So this is just incredible, guys. Thank you so much, John, John G, it might be John G. Olson. Um, let me check out what else he's got going on. Noob learning the fine, learning the fine of the hodl while growing each and every day. A minnow with dolphin dreams of 2018 future well. So he's talking about crypto and stuff like this. He's restaming box mining, which is a big channel on crypto. All right, you just got yourself a follower too. He's writing about stuff that I like to uh, see and hear about. So now I'm going to follow him as well. <laughs> okay, so that is very cool. Um, it's so awesome how this community just connects people like that. Um, I just think it's powerful and. Like I mentioned, with the old days of blogging, this kind of stuff didn't happen. It definitely didn't happen at the speed at which things are happening here on Steemit. So I'm just blown away. I think it's awesome. So let's get back into the comments here and go back through these. This one I can't read. I'm creating my own post with pure efforts. How can I get better results? Please help. Um, well, if you go through my videos, that's exactly what I'm trying to do here is help you guys as much as possible. I do get comments like this sometimes. People saying, you know, Please help me. And it doesn't really explain to me what's going on with them, what they're struggling with. Um, let's go have a look at his channel, though, and just see real quick. Okay. 
So this is one of my pet peeves, guys, and I'm not picking on you, um, but I do want to give you some, 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 not tough love, but give you some love here. <laughs> and just let you know, look, you've got three posts, okay? You've posted the one of them 13 days ago, and then the last two days you've done two other posts, which is good. Maybe that means you're getting ready to be back on a roll again and pushing out constant con content. So, but my biggest pet peeve is when people complain about things, but they're not really trying. <laughs> and so, uh, Ferris, make sure that you're, you know, Number one, put out a bunch of content. Um, find out, you know, from putting out your content, what people are really, your followers are really wanting. I mean, you've already got 40 followers with only three blog posts, which is pretty incredible. Uh, but just keep the content rolling out. And as you're posting content, keep an eye on what people are really gravitating towards. So if you're posting about um, Imran, I can't pronounce this, Imran Khan. Maybe this is a Pakistani uh, politician. If you're posting a lot about politics, in your country, then, and that's getting a lot of uh, following or it's getting a lot of comments and a lot of upvotes and stuff like that, then maybe that's something you want to focus on, okay? But I would go ahead and keep pushing out the content, switch it up, have about three or four different uh, categories that you're focusing on and, sh you know, figure out what your following is liking the most and then kind of stick with that. That's what I've done on my channel. You know, I originally started out with uh, uh, success tips for business and network marketing and crypto and steam it help and i found out that steam it help is what people are really wanting from me so i'm going to kind of stick more to that than anything else and just throw a little bit of the crypto stuff in there every once in a while so you can do the same thing just kind of um choose what's working best on your channel and stick with it but three posts is just a you know just a start so keep that going keep it keep the content rolling out and you should see some better results all right while well, your post was really enlightening thanks for sharing Brandon, I want to thank you for your tips, vid for curators. It helped me a lot. I'm a hatching minnow. This helps me navigate through these expanding steamy waters. I'm following you and learning. Awesome. Thank you so much for that feedback. All right, Chad, Chad Davis. Chad Davis. Uh, my Steemit account just got accepted. I've been watching your training videos on YouTube about how Steemit works. Your videos have been a great help. Keep up the awesome work. Well, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Let me write him a little comment right here. I'm glad to see you join Steemit and so glad that my videos have helped you. I appreciate the feedback. All right, post that and I'm going to give him a little upvote love too. Cool. All right, XEE95, thanks for posting some tips. I'll work on that. Can you please make a video on how to post your stuff? in good manner because I'm not familiar with HTML or something, therefore don't know how people change their writing, etc. I have used some HTML editor which generates code, but no good if you make, please please make a guide, be thankful. Okay, cool, so let's, let's do this real quick, guys. So if we go in here like we're gonna make a post, you may not know this, but there's this editor button here, okay? Click this editor, and you can actually, like, if you wanna do like a title here, like, how to let me spell that right. How to make HTML code. Um, you know, you can make that bold. You can make that italics. You can change that to a header large or header medium. You know, so there's this little editor here if you want to use that. Of course, you can also do it in raw HTML if you want to, and that's usually what I do because I know HTML. Um, but if you don't, you don't need to know it. You can just do it right here. Okay, so. And that's very, very helpful to, to help in making links, uh, adding pictures easily, and you know stuff like that. So this editor button, I hope you guys know that that's there. It's kind of, kind of hidden, I guess, sort of, because um, you might think, oh, that's just saying this is the editor. But yeah, if you click on that, you're going to get the editor, which will help you out a lot. Okay. All right. So the next question is from Perps. Uh, I see this post was promoted. So is promoting your post also a good a way of improving your visibility? I've really been working hard on that, and this article has been of utmost help. Utmost help. Thanks. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate that. And yes, absolutely. This post, I did end up promoting this post, by the way, guys. And you can always tell if I've done that, because if you go under here into the dollars, you'll see promotion costs $15. Okay, I promoted this yesterday. So if you go to the promoted tab here and under Steam it, you'll see this is the number two promoted article here. If you go into... Let's see, I think it was blog also. Yeah, blog, it's number one. 
okay? So yes, promoted, I've, I've been playing with this and testing it out. And in fact, I just did a post the other day about this right here, my surprising results using Steam at Promotions. And it has worked very, very well. I went from, uh, no joke guys, when I first promoted this article I, or this video, when I promoted this, I had 169 followers. That was five days ago. I'm now at 451 followers. And by the way, thank you guys who are the brand new followers and follow me. I appreciate that. I appreciate the love. You, you guys are giving me with your comments, your upvotes, and all that great stuff. So thank you guys so much. I hope I'm helping you out just as much. Um, but yeah, promotions are also a great way of you know getting uh, eyeballs on your articles and uh, bringing the upvotes and the comments coming. So it is a great way. Now, I didn't mention in yesterday's video because these were five budget-friendly ways. Obviously, this isn't budget-friendly because 15 SBD is about, what is SBD right now? About $7.00 maybe seven or eight dollars. So that promotion cost me about $120. So that's not budget friendly, but if you do have the budget to do that, then I do recommend doing it. Just make sure that you're checking. Go check out my video on how to do that though, to make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck. So go to this My Surprising Results using Steam at Promotions if you want to learn on how to do that successfully, okay? So let's go into my next, uh, next page here. And by the way, this giveaway is still going on. I'm sorry, this uh, auction is still going on for this Steam It hoodie. So if you guys want to place a bid on this, all you got to do is, let me see where it's at right now. All right, Dtarts, he bidded 2.0, and now he's bid 3.1, so he's in the lead here. So if you want to outbid him, you'll need to bid at least 3.2, right? Oh, wow, JR just overbid him. <laughs> JR11 just outbid him. Let me check that out. So there's a little bit of competition going on here. Wow. Bid three. Three point five. That is awesome. So guys, yeah, if you want to get on this action on this uh auction here, then just put in a bid of four point oh. And again, that's still a good deal. That's four times eight, thirty-two dollars. That that hoodie is normally forty-five bucks. So that's still a great deal. So if you want to get on this auction, make sure you check out this post, learn how to do it and uh, you can bid on this. But anyway, guys, that's still up for grabs for another few days here. So you can keep um, bidding on that for about, I think, five more days now. So let's check out this, uh, let's check out some of these comments in here. Shirt looks nice, not gonna lie, also a nice project, Steam Bay. Yeah, I think so too, it's an awesome idea. Glad to see that on the platform. I love this because it takes this digital world and brings it into the physical world. If we're going to use Steam it as a tool to better the world, people's lives, and our systems of production and knowledge, then this cannot remain only on our computer screens. Creating value beyond a cryptocurrency extends to identify beliefs, values, culture, and goods. Wearing a Steemit hoodie brought, bought from another user in an auction accomplishes most of these in some way. Super cool idea. Yeah, guys, as you, you guys probably know, I'm actually, uh, I invest in over 20 different cryptocurrencies right now. So when I'm looking at these cryptocurrencies, I'm looking at the technology, I'm looking at the team behind them, and I'm looking at the market valuation before I get into these things. And I'll tell you what, that's actually how I found Steemit because I was looking at the Steam cryptocurrency. But I have looked at a lot of different cryptocurrencies and I can tell you that none of them have a better case use than Steam. Okay, I've looked at a ton and there's not one out there. And then maybe I am biased. Of course, I am biased because I'm using Steemit on a daily basis. But I have not seen a good case use or not as good of a case use as I've seen with uh, Steam. The closest one to it is probably Ripple, and that's because they're being used by the banking sector, and I mean, it's worth a ton of money now. But this is just an incredible blockchain that's being used every single day, but I think it's over like 50,000 people so far, and we just continue to grow every single day here on Steam. It. So yeah, thank you for your reply, or thank you for your comment. Um, those are some great points. Let's see what else we got here. Huh, interesting. Actually, never saw auctioning coming to Steam. It's going to be fun to see how much it will be used in the future. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Snow Way. Great idea, Brendan Fry. Both the hoodie and t-shirt are well designed. The t-shirt would be more useful for me as it's currently summer in Australia. I assume the winner of the auction would need to pay separately for shipping costs. No, actually, I'm going to cover all of that. So just you're just bidding on the, on the hoodie, and I will actually cover the shipping costs and all that. I'm not worried about that. I have just come across Steam Bay today, and I think it is an excellent idea. It has great potential, and I hope to use it in the future. I've been making some origami earrings and previously thought about listing them on Etsy, but Steam Bay may be an even better idea. So cool. 
Yeah, yeah. I would definitely put it on here. Um, maybe put it on both, but see what it does on, on uh, Steam. And I think this is a really, really cool way to get some stuff out there. Let me go check out real quick. DR -tar Tarts, Dr. Tarts. DRT Arts. Okay. <laughs> um, he's actually got an auction going as well. Let me see if I can find it here. Okay, I was on the wrong on the wrong post. Here we go. Art auction, Nidosphere Trump. So <laughs> it's kind of a crazy cool looking uh, painting he's done here, which is he's a really good artist. Um, but let's go check this out down here. So he's got more art on here, it looks like, that's up for auction. Okay, so let's check this out. He's at 2.5 here. That's what he started out at. So you can start your auction out at whatever price you want, by the way. Um, countdown ticker so we can easily see how long it is left till closing. Yeah, I agree with that. There could be a better way to add a countdown timer or something to it. All right, so he's got a bid of here for three, a bid for four. So it seems to be working out very well for him. That's awesome. I'm glad he, he got this uh, information for me and decided to use it and decided to sell this stuff. And as you can see, it's working good for him, so that's awesome. Um, so anyway, guys, let's get back into the comments here. All right, we had quite a dialogue going on here with me and uh, Mustafa. I think this is a fantastic new feature for the Steemit platform. I love how active the Steemit community is in terms of just user interaction on post and as developers too. Now, let's win a t-shirt. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, I am very impressed with the developers here because if you think about it, guys, these developers, of course, they gain notoriety for the things that they're creating, but they're not making money, right? Um, for like the Steamify app that I use on a daily basis, they don't make any money. It's a free app on the blockchain. So they're not making any money for it. So you really have to give these developers some props and for doing what they do. They put in a lot of work. It's not easy. I can tell you I've done a tiny bit of programming. It takes a special person to do it, okay? So um, so big props to those developers out there who are making Steam in a better place and it makes it more valuable, right? The more we add to the Steam platform, it makes it more valuable and it makes our cryptocurrency more valuable too. So it puts more money in our pockets. So yeah, I agree a hundred percent there. Okay. All right. Somebody said I'm shamelessly commenting because I would like to win the daily comment reward. Thanks for creating no nonsense DTube and steam it content. <laughs> so and shamelessly saying that and that, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you uh, saying I'm, it's no nonsense uh, content. <laughs> Thank you there. All right. So that's pretty much all the comments we're going to go through here today. Um, yeah, so I think this video has gone on long enough, but yeah, I just want to kind of do this once in a while and give you guys some feedback. I know there's a lot of comments that go under the radar and I can't get to them all because what I, what I usually do is in the mornings, I'll grab my cup of coffee. I'll sit at my uh, desk here and I will go through my comments and I'll try to answer as many as possible. Give you guys some upvote love and stuff like that. But typically right after I post my content, uh, when I get those first comments coming in, I'm still sitting here at my computer. So I'll, you know, write back real quick to you guys and have that conversation going. But uh, I try to do, I try to get to as many comments as possible, but I do admit and I do understand that some of them do get missed. So maybe I could do this once a week and try to answer as many comments as I can um, in my, in a video. So maybe that would help out everybody. So, so let me know your thoughts. Do you like this kind of video? Do you like me going through comments and, uh, answering questions and not really real time, but on a video here, do you like this format? If you do, let me know in a comment below or let me know any other questions you might have about Steam and anything I can help you with. Otherwise, guys, have an awesome day and uh, we'll see you on the next video.